Shikoku is the fourth largest island in Japan. It's also the only one of the four big islands that does not have an NPB team. A couple NPB teams visit the island every summer and play a regular season game or two. But other than that, the only professional baseball there is in the Shikoku Island League Plus. This is one of two independent leagues in Japan, the other being the Baseball Challenge League. It was founded in 2005 and currently consists of four teams. One team is located in each of Shikoku's four prefectures. If you're not familiar, Japan is divided into 47 prefectures, like little states or New England-sized states. The total population of the island is 3.8 million. The four prefectures each have just over or just under a million people. The island's largest city, Matsuyama, has a population of only half a million people, which explains why there's no NPB team there. But every time expansion or relocation is considered, Matsuyama is brought up, because the whole island of nearly four million would rally around that team. There have been attempts to expand the Shikoku Island League into prefectures on the other main islands, but the teams never lasted more than a couple years. For the last nine years, it's just been the four teams of Shikoku Island. They usually play a schedule of 65 to 70 games split into two half-seasons. The half-season champions meet in a championship series. In 2020, because of the delayed start to the season, there was no split season and no playoff, so the regular season leader was crowned as the league champion. The DH is universal, and almost all games are played on weekends. In 2015, the league sent an all-star team to North America to play against teams from the Can-Am League. The Shikoku All-Stars finished that tour with a record of 6-10. and 10. A year later, they returned and finished with a record of 8-12. and 12. There's no interleague play between the Shikoku Island League and the BC League. My guess is, based on the ex-NPB players in each league, that the BC League is on a slightly higher level. However, it's not a competition for talent. Actually, the Shikoku Island League contains a disproportionate number of homegrown players, which helps to generate local fan interest. It's common to see players go back and forth between the Island League and NPB. Undrafted players out of high school and college sign with Shikoku teams, and if they dominate right away are often picked up in the next draft. And on the other end, older players at the end of their NPB careers sometimes join the Island League and finish out their playing days there. The defending champions from the 2020 season are the Tokushima Indigo Sox. As I mentioned before, there was no championship series in 2020. They won the title by winning the most regular season games. At 35 wins, 30 losses, and 11 ties, it was their second title in a row and their sixth overall, tying them for the most team championships in league history. A famous player from the past is Katsuhito Tadano, who played for the Cleveland Indians and later the Hokkaido Nippon Ham Fighters. He appeared for the Indigo Sox at the end of a minor league season, while still in the Indians organization. Their star for the 2020 season was 20-year-old right-handed pitcher Kaisei Toda, who led the league with 139 strikeouts and tied for the league lead with 9 wins on his way to winning the league MVP award. After the season, he was drafted by the Yomiuri Giants and is currently playing in their system. Their top hitter was DH Shota Shinjo. He led the league in batting 329 and stolen bases 21. Tokushima Prefecture is the least populated of Shikoku's four prefectures. The Indigo Sox play in the capital city of the same name, and their home is Mutsumi Stadium, opened in 1952 with a capacity of 16,000. Their mascot is a spider with indigo-colored socks, appropriately named Spider. The runner-up team for the 2020 season was the Kochi Fighting Dogs. At 35 wins, 34 losses, and 7 ties, they were just two games behind the Indigo Sox. They are the league's most unsuccessful team. They won the inaugural league title in 2005, claimed their second championship in 2009, but have not won anything since then, not even a half-season title. Though they haven't seen many championships, they have seen some big names go through there. Manny Ramirez played for the Fighting Dogs in 2017, but left at mid-season after injuring his knee. Two other major league players, Lars Anderson and Hideki Iraba, played in Kochi at the end of their careers. And Chibalote Marines outfielder Katsuya Kakunaka started his career with the Fighting Dogs in 2006. He's been with the Marines since 2007 and is a three-time All-Star. Their best hitter in 2020 was 23-year-old outfielder Lassina Sanfo, the first ever professional baseball player from the West African nation of Burkina Faso. He led the league in RBI with 30, and triples with 8. Closer Rintaro Hirama led the league in saves with 18. Kochi is the largest prefecture on Shikoku by area, but also the most sparsely populated. 40% of the prefecture's population lives in the city of Kochi, where the fighting dogs play. Kochi Stadium is their home, a 6,000 capacity ballpark open since 1953. Their mascot, shown here, is named Doki. The third place team in 2020 was the Kagawa Olive Gainers. 
31 wins, 34 losses, and 11 ties. They've won six league titles, tied with Tokushima for the most, including three in a row from 2006 to 2008. Their last championship came in 2018. A number of former NPB players played in Kagawa. Masayoshi Miwa started his career with the Olive Gainers from 2005 to 2007, before joining the Tokyo Yakult Swallows, where he played for 10 years. In 2020, they were led by 27-year-old pitcher Hiroaki Sayuchi. He had been a member of the Hanshin Tigers from 2012 to 2019. Then, in 2020, with the Olive Gainers, he had a league-leading 0.42 ERA. This year, he is back in NPB, pitching in relief for the Swallows. Kagawa is the smallest prefecture by area in all of Japan, but has almost a million residents. The Olive Gainers play in the capital city of Takamatsu at Olive Field, part of the Kagawa Prefectural Baseball Complex. It was opened in 1982 and has a capacity of 22,000. Their mascot is an olive tree fairy named Gainakun. The last place team in the 2020 season was the Ehime Mandarin Pirates. At 27 wins, 35 losses, and 14 ties, they were 6.5 games out of first. In the 16 years of the Shikoku Island League, the Pirates have only won two championships, those coming in 2015 and 2016. But that doesn't mean they have a history of losing. They have won six half-season titles, including the 2018 and 2019 seasons. So 2020 was an unusually bad season by recent standards. Compared with the other three teams, they've seen fewer ex-NPB players come through there. But for the 2021 season, they've welcomed outfielder Hayata Ito, who played for the Hanshin Tigers for the last nine years. In 2020, their offensive leader was infielder Yasuhito Ogasawara, the Pirates' only best nine selection with a league-leading seven home runs. But he is no longer with the team. He is now playing in the BC League. Ehime has the highest population of Shikoku's four prefectures at over 1.3 million. The capital city of Matsuyama has over half a million residents. And it's here you'll find the Pirates' home, Matsuyama Central Park Baseball Stadium, more commonly known by its nickname, Bochan Stadium. Opened in 2000 with the capacity of over 30,000, it's the league's newest and largest ballpark. It's 122 meters, 400 feet to center, 99 meters, 325 feet to left and right, the longest distance of any Island League stadium. Every year, Bochan Stadium hosts regular season NPB games. The next time will be August 17th and 18th of this year, between the Yakult Swallows and the Yomiri Giants. If NPB ever expands or relocates to Shikoku Island, this would most definitely be the home field for the new team. The team mascot is a tangerine-headed sailor named Mappi. Tickets for Shikoku Island League games cost 1,000 yen, or about $10, if purchased on game day. 800 yen if bought beforehand, half price for kids. So if you find yourself in Shikoku and don't feel like making the trip out to another island to see an NPB game, check out the Island League. Every team's got at least one former NPB player and any dominant young player you see will likely find his way into the big league. If you've been to a game in Shikoku, please tell us about it in the comments. If not, comment on which of these teams you'd like to go see. Do you think NPB should expand onto the island, or do you think that would ruin the Shikoku Island League? Anyway, that's all for this one. Until next time, this is Baseball International. See ya!